online classes. My name is Radha Varsha. Today I teach you third standard EBS. Our lesson name is so many kinds of animal. In previous lecture, we have seen information about crawl animals and insect. In this lecture, we are going to learn last topic of this lesson. Student, look at the whiteboard. This is our last topic. Our last topic may be use your brain power. Student, look at this whiteboard. I have drawn here one chart. This is, here is one question. Listen carefully. Into which of the following groups would you put the owl, the monitor lizard, means golfer and the cat? Listen again. I will this question again. Into which of the following groups would you put the owl, the monitor lizard? The monitor lizard means golfer and the cat. Here are three options. Student, I have two here three groups name. Look these three groups. I read first group names. Listen carefully. First group, cow, dog and goat. These all are animals name. In the bracket, we circle our young means. These all animals are circle their young ones. So tell me which animals circle their young ones. Look these three options and tell the answer. Correct. Cat. Cat also circle their young ones. So right here, cat. Student, look at our second group. Here is crow, sparrow, parrot and cock. These all are birds. These all are birds name. In the bracket, we fly. These all, these all birds are flying the sky. So tell me uh, this bird name. Which bird flies in the sky? Correct. Owl. Owl also flies in the sky. Because these all birds are flying in the sky. So right here, owl. Now students, look this our last group. Here is chameleon. House lizard and snake. Listen again. Chameleon, house lizard and snake. These all are crawl animals. In the bracket, we crawl. So tell me which animal is crawl? Look this three option. Correct. Monitor lizard also crawl animal. Name. So right here, monitor lizard. Fast. Which animals move very slow? 
day and two toys move very slow. We move in different ways. A square is a small animal. It is nimble. It climbs up a tree quickly and swiftly runs along its front tail. The elephant's body is bulky. Its legs are heavy. The elephant cannot run at great speed. The deer has thick legs. It runs very fast. A cross hip legs are long. So it can easily hop, jump and leap. We, the game crashers. Some animals enter our houses even though we don't want them. Mice and rats destroy snow grains besides gnawing other things in the house. Sometimes we find bed bugs in a house. They suck our blood. Spiders make cobwebs in the house. Mosquitoes, lice, gnats, and cockroaches are a nuisance too. Even so, these troublesome animals do have an important place in nature. We have seen that animals around us can be groups in different ways. We form these groups using our everyday observations. However, when scientists classify animals, they look at more important characteristics of animals. Let us see how we do it. We suckle our young. The young ones of animals like the cow, dog, goat, and rat grow up on their mother's milk. These animals have four legs. They have hair on their body. They have external ears. We fly. Birds have two legs. They have two wings to fly with. Their body is covered with feathers. There are differences in the flyability of different birds. Kids, if you must have noticed, the eagle can soar high to the sky and stay in the air for a long time. But the cock does not fly high and comes down soon too. We live in water. There are many different kinds of fish. They live in the water. Fish have fins. They use their fins to move in water. There are scales on a fish body. Do you know? A fish has scales behind its eyes. Fish use their gills to breathe in water. We breathe and grow. Communions, house lizards, and snakes are animals that grow. They have scales on their bodies. Chameleons and house lizards have four legs, but these legs are very short. The snake does not have any legs at all. We are called insects. Butterflies have wings too. But we don't call them birds, right? They are insects. They are smaller than birds. Besides, they have six legs. Animals which have six legs are called insects. 
So butterflies are insects. Mosquitoes, houseflies, and cockroaches are insects too. Do you know? Well, bats have wings, but they do not have feathers on their body. Young ones of bats feed on their mother's milk. Bats are not birds like the crow, sparrow, parrot, and cock. In fact, they are included in the group of the cow, tiger, deer, and mouse. And by now, even you know why. Use your brain power. Into which of the following groups would you put the owl? The monitor lizard, that is the whole bird, and the cat. Groups, animals. Cow, dog, and goat fall in the category of animals who suckle their young ones. Cat. Crow, sparrow, parrot, and cock are animals that fly. Owl. Chameleon. House lizard and seek our animals that draw. The monitor lizard that is over. This was all about a few animals we have put in your way. But kids, there are many more animals in the world. There are a lot of differences in colors, shapes and sizes of animals. There are differences in the way they move and the place they live in. These differences that we see among animals gives rise to a lot of variety in animals. The number of animals that live in the sea is far larger than the number of animals that live on land. Strange, right? There is great variety among them too. It is very interesting to learn about all such animals. Do try to find out more about them when you are older.